Picture yourself standing on the deck of a massive aircraft carrier, watching as a powerful jet zooms toward you. You're holding your breath, waiting to see if the skilled pilot will be able to land their aircraft on the short runway ahead safely. The tension is palpable, but suddenly you hear the pilot exclaim, I have the ball! What does this mean? Why do Navy pilots say this during the last phase of landing on an aircraft carrier? In this video, we'll explore the origins of this phrase, how it works, and why it's such an essential part of carrier landing operations. So buckle up and get ready to learn. Before we begin, I want you to stay on top in the knowledge game of Navy and aircraft updates. And to do that, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon right now. And I welcome you to the world of Navy. The Optical Landing System To help pilots safely navigate this difficult landing process, an optical landing system called the Fresnel Lens was developed. This system provides visual cues to pilots during the final phase of landing, helping them to align their planes correctly and adjust their altitude. The most important part of the Fresnel Lens system is the ball. This refers to an illuminated circle that indicates whether the pilot is on the correct glide path to land safely on the carrier. If the ball is above the datum, a set of lights on either side of the mirror, it means the pilot is flying too high and needs to decrease altitude. If the ball is below the datum, then the pilot is too low and needs to increase altitude. If the ball is on the datum, then the pilot is on the correct glide path and can safely land their plane. So when a pilot exclaims, I have the ball, it means that they have visually confirmed that they are on the correct glide path to land their plane on the carrier safely. It is a moment of relief, excitement, and pride for the pilot who has successfully navigated the complex landing process. The Mirror Landing Aid But why is this phrase used specifically by Navy pilots? Well, it turns out that the origins of the Fresnel lens and the ball can be traced back to the United Kingdom in the aftermath of World War II. This was a time when new technologies were rapidly transforming the construction and capabilities of aircraft carriers. The mirror landing aid was a gyroscopically controlled concave mirror located on the port side of the flight deck. A row of datum lights in an emerald green color was positioned on either side of the mirror. An aviator who was about to land could view the ball that was created by shining a strong orange source of light into the mirror. The ball's position in relation to the datum lights indicated the aircraft's position above the desired glide path. The mirror landing aid's gyro stabilization system compensated for the flight deck's movement caused by the waves, allowing for a consistent glide path. Initially, it was believed that the technology would make it possible for the pilot to land without receiving directions from the landing signal officer. The landing signal officer. Initially, it was believed that this technology would allow pilots to safely land on carriers without assistance from a landing signal officer, LSO. However, accident rates increased when the system was first introduced, indicating that there was still a need for human guidance during the landing process. As a result, the modern Fresnel lens system was developed, which includes the LSO as a critical component. The LSO is a highly experienced Navy pilot who communicates with the landing pilot via radio. They provide crucial information, such as the pilot's position on the glide path and center line, as well as power needs. They also use a combination of lights to signal additional commands, such as flashing red lights to indicate a go-around or green cut lights to signal cleared to land. Making Landing Safer In the United States the development of the modern Fresnel lens system resulted in a significant decrease in carrier landing accidents, from 35 per 10,000 landings in 1954 to just 7 per 10,000 landings in 1957. 
This impressive improvement can be attributed in part to the crucial role played by the LSO in ensuring safe and successful landings. The fundamental Fresnel Lens Optical Landing System was refined into the improved Fresnel Lens Optical Landing System, or IFLALS, which engineers developed at NAEC Lakehurst. The IFLALS maintains the same basic function, but provides a more accurate indication of the aircraft's position on the glide slope. In 1997, a prototype IFLALS was tested on board the USS George Washington. Since 2004, every aircraft carrier that has been in active service has been equipped with the system. So the reason why Navy pilots say, I have the ball, when landing on an aircraft carrier is due to the optical landing system. The system provides information on the glide path to pilots during the last phase of the landing procedure on an aircraft carrier. The development of the optical landing system revolutionized the construction of aircraft carriers and significantly improved landing safety. If you have any stories or thoughts on this, then leave that in the comment section below. This is a fascinating technology, no doubt. But do you know what revolutionary technologies Japan has developed for its new billion-dollar aircraft carrier? Yes, you heard that right. Japan has built the most powerful aircraft carrier in its history, and it has sent shockwaves around the globe. To find out, click on this video right here. That would be all for this video, but click this video to find out more about this fascinating machine that has become the face of modern naval warfare. So what are you doing? Click it now.